right, so um, I shot that little clip in advance with my mom to kind of help show what the tail looks like, or the glowing end of the tail looks like when it's actually in spook and lit up in the dark. However, I figured I'd do this little extra bit at the end to kind of show off the more detailed bits of the glowing part of the tail. So in the unboxing video, I said that the ends were really close together, but that's just because when I had thrown it over my neck, it like spun kind of like that and it gets really close, but it has just as much spacing between it as the others do. And again, you can't really see it because my lighting's bad, but there's some beautiful details that um, EE did in showing the vertebrae and there's different coloration between kind of like the meat and the actual uh, other part of the tail. Um, so with the tail, it has this little holder, which is kind of like with a wedding dress and the train and stuff to kind of help tie it up to you. So I might make Spook some kind of little decorative belt or whatever to tie this to. I'm also making him a floor dragger cover. So if I take him somewhere that's kind of dirty and I don't want to have to flow X like all of him, I can just uh, slip that on. And it's going to be clear. I'm going to do that up kind of like a tablecloth-y material. So you'll still be able to see the tail through it. But with the tail, you can look at it. And I was really struggling to find the zipper before. But after the video, I found it. So you can kind of see here where there's not part of the zipper, but then all, there's kind of like a little bulge where the zipper is. So this side is the side with the actual zipper part. And you can see it's kind of a hidden zipper. Well, it's really a hidden zipper because I couldn't find it at all the first time. But you just unzip it. And it's got a liner just like the rest of the suit it has this nice athletic meshy material to help some breathability and it makes it a bit easier to clean. But what's in here right now is not the glowing bit, obviously, since I'm just like throwing it all over. This is actually a little <laughs> thrown together blanket stitched polyfill egg that I made to put in the tail sack <laughs> while it's daylight and you wouldn't really be able to appreciate the glow. You can see the glow in the daylight but there's no point in hauling around that giant heavy egg if I can just carry around this pillow. So I hope to someday have a material that is like a repeating pattern of spook and have this and a balaclava made of it. I know that's kind of stupid because no one will see it, but it I know it's there, so it's special. So that's the little crappy egg. And then this is the actual hard plastic light up bulb. I think originally it was meant to be hung somewhere outside because it's got a hanger and then it's also got a waterproof charging port so it can be left out in the rain. However, we don't really know, the maker and I, that's for, uh, we don't know what its original intention was. It just happened to be the exact right size and the exact right shape. So uh, fate was on our side. And this is the clicker that goes to it. And it's got on off and stuff. So just on and it'll filter through the different lights that are on its color wheel that you can choose from but when it's in his tail the other colors other than orange and white don't really show up as well plus there's really no point in having a blue trying to show through an orange so we just leave it on orange by pushing the orange button and you can roll around with him in that and then if you don't have the remote with you this is an on-off button, so I could have my handler unzip it and manually turn it on-off um, from actually in the suit. We don't have to worry about carrying this around. So I hope that explains everything about his tail that you have questions with. If not, totally drop them in the comment section wherever YouTube ends up putting that in the future. Right now it's down below. Um, and then if you have any video suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I know someone said that they want me to do some martial arts in them because I used to do Taekwondo like ages ago. So it'd be funny to see Spook romp around and try and beat up some rebreakable boards or put on, manage to put on some sparring gear. So we'll see. But if you have any uh, video suggestions, totally leave them below in the comments. And you can subscribe to me wherever. I don't really care if you do or not. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.